Okay, on this guy, what we want to do is, is graph it and find where this graph is greater than zero. Okay, that's what we're looking for. And, and so to do that, what we're going to do is punch it into the calculator and look for x-intercepts. Those are going to be crucial. And then after we find those x-intercepts, we're going to look at the graph and see if we can figure out where it's above the x-axis and where it's below the x-axis. We are really interested on where it's above the x-axis. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna look for this guy and we're gonna look for this guy above the x-axis. Okay, so on your TI eighty four, go into y equals, put your equation in there. and choose to graph it and the default window should work uh, but if the default window doesn't work for your graph choose the window key and then you can adjust the X min and X max settings so that you can see your entire graph uh, our graph right here is good we can see everything on it it's not a problem so what we want to do is we want to find where this graph crosses the x-axis so hit the second key and hit trace and where we cross the x-axis we have a zero and uh, to find a zero you have to move your graph from left to right across the zero so if we move over to the left hand uh, graph we start looking on the left hand side of, of that zero and we cross through to the right hand side and we find out that one of our zeros is negative 1.758 And then hit that second and trace key again and and choose to go to the other side. Again, we're looking for the zero. So start from the left hand side of the zero, go to the right hand side of the zero, choose enter, and we get another value which is x equals point seven five eight so what we're interested in here uh, on this graph is all the points on the graph where we are larger than zero in other words the point on the graph where we are above the x-axis well that's this point right here and that's this point right here because we want to know where all of this part is true. Where we, where are we above the x-axis? So we're trying to figure out where this graph is actually fills in above the y, the x-axis. So don't forget, you know, some simple things. Don't forget, like this guy's your x-axis and this guy up here is your y. We want to know where's this graph above the x-axis. That's what greater than zero means. Well, it's above the x-axis from negative infinity all the way down to this point right here. Well, what point is that? That's that's the first intercept we found, which is negative 1.758. 1, 1 1.7. Gee whiz. 1.7. So there's one place that it's greater than zero. Or we could write this as x is less than or equal to 1.758. And then where's the next place that it's going to be greater than zero? Well, look, it's from this point right here, that direction. Well, what point is that? That's the second intercept you found, or 0.758 to infinity. Okay. And these, sh these should be brackets here. Uh, so the other one in inequality form would be x greater than or equal to 0.758. And that's how you would solve this inequality using your calculator.